Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today, I don't know how I'm going to do this because the box is so huge. Today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the Rebel Rose Collection. It's huge. So the Rebel Rose Collection by Wet n Wild. Um, yeah, so if you went on to their website, they were having a massive 40% off the entire site. So this collection actually retails for $60. I got it for about $25. Not bad. Actually, it was like $30 something. Anyway, still not bad. So I bought the entire skincare. Well, the Rose Skincare line. As well as the second tray here is the makeup collection itself. So, I love this collection. Um, here's the inside of the box there. The box is beautiful. The packaging is beautiful. The only thing is, get this little guy out here. Uh, I've already took the wrapper off because I, I tried it out. So, I got this little guy. And this is the, uh, the Rose Multi-Use Oil. And it was, like you can tell, like it's already, it was leaking. <laughs> Immediately I opened the box, the entire box smelled like roses. And it was because of this little guy. This little guy right here was leaking. I guess they didn't tighten it good enough or something, but it was leaking. But um, this entire top row here, I went ahead and used. I also put on my Wet n Wild foundation, as well as, well... I'm out of my Wet n Wild primer, so I used a different primer. And I used my e.l.f. primer. And I sat, did my eyebrows with my Wet n Wild eyebrow pencil. And yeah. Oh yeah, I also used my Wet n Wild eye primer. So I'll do my eyes for you guys. But um, I just wanted to try out this entire top row first. So I went ahead and used the Rose Toner. And it smells, smells amazing, like roses. And there's a fine mist on it too, so yeah. You see that guy? Very fine mist, smells amazing. Um, the rose oil feels really nice and hydrating on my skin. It didn't make me feel too oily. And again, it has a really nice scent to it. Smells like roses. And there's even roses like in it. Uh, and this guy right here. The Rose Primer Serum. Love it. Um, I don't have highlighter on right now, but there's like a little bit of a sparkle underneath my foundation. So that's what I did. I put it under the foundation. Beautiful. And again, smells like roses. <laughs> that is going to be a theme. So I also used the lip scrub. The lip scrub, if I can get it out. Oh my god. Wasn't hard, that hard to get out the first time. So, again, this is the lip scrub. You can tell I used it. Had to. So, it smells really nice. It does not taste good at all. Actually, there's no scent. I didn't notice that before. But, it does not taste good. It does not. If you've ever eaten a rose, ever got a rose in your mouth, it tastes like that. It's disgusting. And then, of course, the lip balm. And then this is called A Hint of Corruption. Mine came a little dewy. Can you guys tell? It's a little dewy. A little con bit of condensation there. It's supposed to be one of those color shifting things, so it's kind of like a blacky, greenish kind of amber color. So, but it goes on kind of like a pinky red. And there's kind of no smell, kind of smells like jelly. And also, there's no taste. No taste at all. So this is the top row. Um, separately, I think it was only like, I don't remember, like $25 by itself for all this. Maybe it was 29 
I'll tell you down below. Okay, so I'm gonna set this to the side. The second row. The second row is where the magic is. This is where the stuff that we care about most is. Okay, so this second row right here. Blush brush. We have an eyeshadow brush. I'm going to go ahead and pull those out for you. And I'll swatch everything too. And we can decide which palette to use. There we go. So, these are gorgeous. Look at this. It feels really nice too. Ooh, it does feel really nice. Okay, so the handle is really bendy. It's kind of cheap feeling, but still very nice, very pretty. It feels really nice. I will actually try it out with the blush that comes with this set, and we'll see. I have other brushes too that I can use. Alright, so here is the eyeshadow brush. I love these brushes. They are so freaking cute. You know what? Let's try it this way. Aha. See? Oh, that's cute. You could even use the bottom like a stand if you wanted to. Okay. Anyway, moving on. This is the tiniest, cutest little brush ever. Like, look at it. And again, the handle is bendy. It's a little cheap. It's okay. Um, it feels really nice. We'll check it out in a minute and see. Alright. So, first, we're going to dive into this right here. So, this is the first palette. It is called Bed of Roses. Okay, so side note, I've been doing YouTube a year and a half now. I just realized there was a light on my camera. <laughs> I know, I know. Okay, so there's going to be another story time. I don't know whether I should do it or not. I probably should, but guys, if you could tell, like, my videos before, there was like... I don't know how to say it, but there was like a heaviness about me. I'll, tell me down below if you want me to tell you what's going on. Because uh, your girl went through some changes. She had to change some stuff. And went wild. Y'all killing me with this packaging. Come on. It's taking way too long to open this. Like three years later. Come on now. Oh snap. Okay. So got it open. That took way too long. Sorry guys. But yeah. Is there individual like shade names? No. There's not. Okay. This is gorgeous. Like hold on. Notice how I went right for that really shimmery one. Oh, yeah. Alright, so, so far, this burgundy one right here, it's really dense and really dry feeling. Everything else, it feels really buttery. Alright, so. Put that on there for you, for you guys. You cannot see that at all. Look, so pretty. I'm so sorry I did it in such a bad spot. So pretty though. And the color payoff. Like wet and wild. Thank you. The color payoff is amazing. That one shade feels really dry though. But other than that, nicely done. Let's grab a wipey wipey. You know my rules. We always keep wipes around, right? Alright, so. Should have brought some scissors out here with me. I wish I had seen that like 10 minutes ago. I wouldn't be in this moment. Alright, so this one is Secret Garden Rendezvous. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm guessing here. I'm hoping I don't, you know, slice my hand open or something. Oh, snap. Do, 
do 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 are y'all killing me oh there we go okay all right this is gorgeous like look at that purple and the gold oh my gosh I think I'm just going to do it on this side try to make sure I do it right this blue oh it's blue not purple okay okay all right so far same thing this blue this bluey purple it feels just like the burgundy it's really dry it's really I was hoping it'd be a little more supple, just like the other three in the palette. Oh my God, look at that. See, why am I constantly like, there we go, it's pretty. Sorry, I keep putting the swatches in the bad spot. It's okay, it'll be fine. All right, so next one last one here is House of Thorns and already that green that green is look at that oh I can't wait can't wait to test it can't wait to try it hope I don't kill myself here this stupid knife oh all right we get it yes we got it there we go oh Look at that, the black. Oh my gosh. All right, here we go. Dip into this bronze, this beautiful. Oh, look at that. God, I can't wait. Oh, see? What is this? This formula is. N oh, both of these, both of these matte shades. Like, what is the matte shades going on? They feel so, like dense and dry like I don't I don't understand at all here I'll try to do it right here so you guys can see look at that look that is gorgeous oh my god okay I am loving this so far except for some of the formulas on some of the eyeshadows the matte ones i'm not liking it just feels you know what i mean like it just feels ugh. okay so all right so next we are going to dip into this i am excited about this this is the uh, cream blush, but it's a color shifting one. And as you can tell, there's glitter in it. Oh my God. Can't wait. It's black. It's gorgeous. It's called Rose and Peace. So again, it's going to be one of those. I got it. Got it. So can you see that the gold glitter flakes that are in it and I haven't even touched it yet oh my gosh okay so here we go here we go oh my god I could play with this all day it feels like it just feels like butter like honestly it just feels like butter Oh, look at, oh, my God, wet and wild. Y'all are killing it. God, look at this. And it doesn't really smell like anything. So, yeah. All right, so also the lippies, let's go ahead and get into these. These are gorgeous, by the way. All right, so. The purple is Deviant Damsel. And then this one is Bud Re Bud Romance. That's adorable. <laughs> and then this one is Petal Poison, the soft pink. 
Oh, my color right here. Kiss of death. Now you guys know I love these rusty reds, these ones that are just love it. Also, I'm loving this pink, I'm loving the purple, I'm loving the nude. <sighs> Alright, so let's get into these, let's open them, and then we can decide which one we're going to do. Alright, so here is Bud Repu Bud Romance. I don't know why I want to say Bad re Reputation, but I feel like that's what would happen. Alright, so I'm just going to put it right here. Oh snap. And again, it doesn't really smell like anything. I was hoping there would be like a rose scent in the lippies. Okay, I was hoping. A lot. So, yeah. Alright, and this one is Deviant Damsel. So, I want you to notice something really quickly. So the lighter shades have like the pink top and the darker shade has the black with pink rose top. Love it. Freaking love it. I don't know why I just didn't do the other swatches over here. I don't know. Oh, love it. All right. Next one, and this one is the Petal Poison. Ooh, I'm so excited about this. Alright, so, and it's going to go right here, what is that swatch, oh my god, this one might be the one I have to put on, I might have to do that one, honestly, alright, so last one is Kiss of Death, oh my god, alright, here we go, so here it, pow, and again, it's a dark rust, Kind of wish there was a smell. Kind of wish there was a like a light rose scent <laughs> to the lippies. Not gonna lie. Kind of wish there was. Okay, so um, I don't know. Wearing this pastel shirt, so might go a little lighter. Don't know. Okay, so let's see. So, Secret Garden Rendezvous, House of Thorns, and what do we got here? Better Roses. Hmm. How about this? How about we just dip into all three? We can create a look together. How about that? I am so down. So down. So ready. I know I'm using that green. Don't know how, but it's going to work. Okay, so, and the only downside is there's no transition shades in here. Um, I'm just going to use this. So, I also have makeup here for another video I'm getting ready to shoot in the next couple of days. Um, I'm just going to use the, tra the, the setting powder from that as a transition shade. So... Get a little closer. Don't you want to get a little closer? Is that good? Can you see me? Oh, do a little cute. Just kidding. So, <laughs> let me know down in the in the comments if you want me to do a story time on what happened, what's going on, why I'm in such a better mood, why I'm so less Eeyore, if that's the word, because this is me normally, I'm kind of quirky, kind of, you know, nothing special, and because I wear, oh, I forgot I have that one, so also, I set my face with this, love this stuff, oh, I love it, all right, so, I'm just going to use my 
Aspen as um, my air spun. I always call it Aspen. I don't know why. So, I'm just going to do this. Yes. And I always like to do this. I always like to put down some powder as just like a base. Um, for me, it kind of helps it clean better and it makes it last longer all day. Um, but if you have other tips or things you do, go ahead and comment down below and tell me. <gasps> Oh, got that in, got that out of the way. All right, so I also have, I know this is my Ulta brush, but it doesn't say it anymore. So I have my Ulta blending brush and I have my e.l.f. blending brush. So I have these down here with me as well as my uh, AOA blending brush in case I need that. So yeah. Oh. Let's get into it. You know what? I'm going to step right into this brownie shade right there. I'm just going to put that in my crease and then blend that out. And I'll see you in a second. Oh, also, I'm going to be getting contacts soon. Um, comment down below if you want me to do like a video of me putting in my contacts, how I clean them, how... I take them out. I'll do like a whole video for you guys. So. Oh my god. Look at. This is. Happiness. Okay. Alright. Not bad. And yeah, seriously, this is how I do my makeup every time I do it. Alright, so next, I got that on. Now, I'm not one of those girls that spends forever trying to blend out my makeup and my eyeshadow. I try to make sure the foundation and powder and everything is blended out. But my eyeshadow, I just kind of... I don't know. It works somehow. Alright, so next I want to go in with this rusty red shade right here. See? And I'm just going to put that on my outer corner. Right in here. Kind of blend it up into the crease. Oh, doo -doo -doo -doo. And it is blowing like crazy, guys. Can you hear that out there? It is so crazy. The last few months, the Vegas weather is... We have snow. What the heck is that? And now it's starting to get like 70, 80 degrees with like intense wind. Mother Nature, Mother Nature is playing and messing with us. Also, I have a mirror down here too, so I can check it. And my light went, oh, hold on. Oh, auto, okay. Anyway, whatever. All right, next, what do I want to do? I don't know what I want to do next, guys. What do I want to do? You know what, I want to hit this black. I want to hit this black real quick. Oh. I hope it st is that pigmented when it hits my eye. Cause you know how hard it is to find a good black? It's fucking hard, dude. Sorry, it's, it's oh. ridiculous. Oh my gosh. 
Look at that. Also, Miss Shot Miss A, these brushes. These aren't bad. Nice brushes. I got like a whole set for like 10 bucks. Okay, here we go. Whew. I wish I had some music playing right now. I do not. I kind of want to hit this green and that pink. Green and then pink. Let's do that. Let's do that. We're going to hit this green and then we're going to hit this pink. And I always do that. You're always going to see me with like makeup like sketched across my hand for no damn good reason at all. Alright, so I'm literally, <laughs> so I have a whole like makeup table right now set up for another video. Again, I mentioned this. I'm just like, you yeah, know, whatever. Alright, so just bring some of that on. Pop this up here. Go into the with the green. Oh my God. Let Let's just take a second to, to. Do you see? Do you see the green? Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. Okay. Anyway, moving on. Let's get right in here. I'm just going to put this right here. I'm just patting it on. Right. Do the same thing to the other side. Just pat it on right here close to the edge. Okay. And then I'm just going to take another one of my brushes that I have down here and use it for the pink. I'm just going to use this flat brush that I have. So I'm going to setting spray. Alright, so, and this is the pink. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. Love it. Love it. Oh my gosh. There is a bit of fallout though. So if you didn't do your makeup first, it is okay. You can just wipe it off. But like me, I did my makeup first. So what you do with that, you just take, I'm just going to use the blush brush right here. And with the fallout, you just kind of sweep it away. And I literally just took everything off of my nose. What the fuck? Come on, guys. Hold up. Haha. <laughs> Fixed it. It's better. Okay, so. It's cute. It's cute. You know, it's a little cute. Oh, God. Okay. I don't know why I do that. It's annoying to me, actually. I don't like it. Alright, so I'm going to pop all these back in there out of the way. We are going to go in with... Actually, I'm going to go in with my eyeliner. Maybe. So this is my Wet n Wild Mega Last Eyeliner. Pop that on really quickly, maybe. You know what? Never mind. Never mind. Just, just. Never mind. 
I forgot that's the one that doesn't work. Never mind. <laughs> anyway, I do have my Wet n Wild Mega Protein Mascara that I can use to finish this. It's turned into a dominantly Wet n Wild look. It's okay. So. I'm going to go ahead and pop on my mascara, and yeah, don't make fun of me. I like it super close, because I can't see. And it ends uh, da, 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 da. On the bottom. Yeah, like seriously. And this is why I'm getting contacts. So I don't have to do this anymore. Ever again. I know some of you right now are getting so heated. So you're like, oh my gosh, she is so close to her eye. Do, do, do. I wish I had done that. Okay, we're cool. We're cool. So, um, for my under eye, I want to go in with maybe one of the, the bronze or... Ooh, sorry. Maybe this copper. I'm going to go in with this copper shade. So, I'm going to take this little flat brush that I use for my pink. Yeah. Wipe it off. Get some of this on here. I don't want to just go under my eyes. Oh my god. Seriously. Okay. We're cool. We're cool. I got this. We got it. And then, maybe for the corners of my eyes. Maybe hit it with one of the gold. I'm going in with the gold. Going in. Do, do, do. Just pop some of this puppy right there. Oh my god. Right there, right there. A little up there. A little up here. Okay. That is done. Yes. That is it. Yes. Okay, so what I have on my face right now, I just have like my Wet n Wild foundation, my primer, and my Too Faced. So my Too Faced, I'm gonna zoom you guys actually out. Not that much farther. Zoom you guys out, and this is my Wet n Wild. Love it. Okay. Not my Wet n Wild, my Too Faced. Sorry. My bad. My bad. Also, I have my Wet n Wild highlighters. Here's the first one. The blue one. The blue one, I'm not going to wear this time. It's not going to be cute. My purple one. And my white one. My white one seems like it would go with this. Seems more, more gothy, more edgy. So... There we go. Tap that off. Pull out my mirror, cause... Oh. Love this one. The White Raven. Oh my god. I love this one so much. Alright, 
I always go across my nose and my chin. And then I will put some across my cupid's bow. That lip balm. That lip balm is too cute, man. Okay, let me see. Yes. Mm. Damn. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. It's true. I'm not sorry. Alright, so we're going to go in with this blush brush, which is honestly, this thing is huge. And someone out there just said that's what she said. Comment down below. Give me a thumbs up. You know you said it. You know you did. So actually, I'm just going to tap it like this. <sighs> Love it. Okay. I'm just going to make this cute little... No, I'm just kidding. Do it. That is too much. That is just... Gotta commit. Y'all too much. Y'all, y'all too much. Look at this. Oh yay. I seriously look like I work here in Vegas. Like, I look like I work. I, I can't, I can't, no. Okay, so... How many of you guys know that if you put on like too much blush, too much highlighter, you can dip into your setting powder and just be like, boop, 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 and just lighten that puppy up, buddy. Lighten it up. Okay. All right. Not so bad. Not so bad. Okay. This is workable. It's workable. It's doable. I'm actually just going to hit it again because it's still a lot. It's still a lot. I did not expect that much color payoff. Wow. Okay, so. Let's see. Okay, see? Lined it up. Not too bad. It turned out good. Ooh, yes. Okay, so. My lips... I'm going this one. Going this one. And this one is poison. Petal poison. So let's see here. And ignore that little guy right there. That little yeah. Ignore that. Ugh. That is cute. I don't care what y'all say. That is cute. That is cute. It's just cute. Alright, it's cute. Alright, so let's see this. Let's see what happens. Alright. It is so dark. This is what happens when you try to work with dark shades. Girl. And be looking a mess. Okay, okay. Wet wild. Y'all got it. Okay. We're done. We're done. We're done. Oh, I know I didn't get the lips on perfect, but look at this. 
this color. No. I knew the moment I just watched it. Especially if you do just this. This eye look with that just that color. Just use those four. Darken it up. Have it extra built. Extra smoky. God. Oh my god. Okay, so. I love Petal Poison. It was really light. It's almost the same color as my lips. So it could be a nude for me. Love it. It, you don't understand how hard it is to, for me to find a nude and not have it look like my mouth looks like a butthole. Like, to me, certain nudes on me, it just looks wrong. Other girls, it looks amazing. This right here will be the perfect nude for me. This one, we'll have to try it and see. We'll have to try. But... This is cute nonetheless. I mean, this is cute. So, guys, what do you think? What do you think about our palettes? I love it. So, there's a couple of eyeshadows of formula I didn't exactly like. It's a little dry. It's a little, little stiff. A little stiff for me. I like my, my, uh, Eyeshadows to be a little buttery, a little more creamy, but these are nice. And I think they're like five bucks each. If you buy them on the website, they're five dollars each. For five dollars, they're great eyeshadows. Okay, no set. So that blush, though, be careful with it. If you're going for a dramatic look with a high, bright color cheek, go for it. Me. We're going to Target. Like, <laughs> the other moms don't need to be like, oh my god, what's, what, what street you work in? Like, no, anyway, for me, it would make me look like a streetwalker. It made me look, it just looked wrong. But, guys, this collection, I love it. You know, my Instagram is Rebel Cherry. My Twitter is Rebel Girl, so I'm all about this. I'm all about that Rebel thing. Do you, do you, you know, just go for it. Don't take no crap. Work hard. Do your stuff. Mind your business. That's what a Rebel is to me. You just be you. So, guys, we're all done. I'll see you next time. Leave me comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And let me know what look you want to see. If you want to see another look from this collection, let me know. I'll see you next time. Bye.